What's going on, everybody? We are back on Project Quorum on the Necromancer. The human scum Necromancer. Let's get this spider going. Spider Con's white. It should be pretty good. Haven't been able to play too much. But we're back on. We're doing it. We're doing this thing. Oh, he's kind of roughing the pet up a little bit. Kind of a lot of bit. I need to step in here. Let's get another cling in on him. And then we'll get up in here. Should be able to take a few hits. Hopefully the pet's not poisoned or something. Dang. Should probably give my pet a weapon. I got a weapon here. We'll see. Uh oh, the pet's going down. So he is poisoned, it seems. Let's see what we get here. Some legs. Well, we're gonna have to met up after that one already. We just started. What was it? You could do slash pet info. Was it? I thought it was slash. The two words. Was I lied to? Thought it was slash pet info. No? Because there's char info, right? Yeah. I wonder how long his poison is, anyways. It wasn't going to tell me. But um, I heard there was a way to see what buffs are currently on your pet. Not the duration of them, but what buffs are currently on your pet. So it looks like he's starting to regen now, so that's good. Anyways, we are level 9. We are actually 99%... Is that not... Yeah, 99% in to our level, so next kill should should level us up. And we are outside of Befallen. I think it's right there. And we're kind of just killing some stuff. We... I went into Befallen to kind of check it out. And, um, you know, there's some groups in there, but, uh, it seems like they're all doing their thing, and most everything is dead. Uh, the other day I did go in there and I killed some mobs. I was soloing some mobs. I got trained, unfortunately. I had my back. I was killing a mob by the entrance and I had my back towards, like, the rest of the instance, which I guess is my bad. And somebody ran through, they didn't say anything at all, but they ran through, they ran past me. And I just, I don't know, by the time I didn't really think too much of it, but I turned to look, and by the time I did that, I just got, like, a tsunami of mobs. They just aggroed straight onto me. They didn't even, I didn't even do anything. They just, <laughs> just mobbed me down, killed me. So we're not quite high enough yet to kill Will-O-Wisps. These guys are intense, and uh, the pet isn't doing magic damage yet, so the pet doesn't land attacks, I think. I think I found out the hard way. I tried to kill one. I was killing yellows left and right. There was a yellow will-o'-wisp, and it, I had to zone it, so. Can't do that yet. Um, oh, we got a zombie here. My pet's only about half life, but maybe this is what it's gonna be. Maybe we can take her down. She's going down real fast, holy crap. So he lands hits on her, which you would have to be magic to land, I thought, on a zombie. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. But I thought you might need to be magic to land hits on, on zombies. It didn't level me, even though it was 99%, so we'll have to do one more. Um, but I am going to let the ped med up a little bit. I thought maybe on some of these times when I need to med a little bit, maybe we can go over some comments of previous videos and maybe just address them in the following video, which would be, like, say, this video. thought that would be something cool that I can maybe start incorporating into some videos. Um, somebody will find it. There was a comment where it was told to me to open up my options and uh, there's level of detail here. So you can toggle it on or off. And for some reason, if it's on, I guess, 
it kind of bugs out the graphics. Like you'll see from far away, you'll see a humanoid, like a guard, say, and they're they look like they're wearing MC Hammer pants from like far away. And then as you get closer, their MC Hammer pants turn into regular pants. Um, but I I guess, and it seems to be working. Where if you just click this off, that doesn't happen anymore. So thank you for that comment. And for anybody else out there who you know might be experiencing that, utilize that button. That'll help you out. I don't want to fight snakes. Why is it, it's all snakes, man? And this will o' wisp that I can't take. I would love to kill that will o' wisp, but I can't. Um, I was out here earlier, looking around, and it was just like a ton of cats and zombies and that kind of stuff. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. That's uh, those are good, good stuff to kill, but. Right now it's not. Here's some cats over here in the distance. It's kind of quite a bit of a run to get to them, but uh, let's do it. After I get my level and I, you know, maybe farm out here in a little bit, maybe we'll poke in to unrest again. And uh, what do we got there? We have a, a young Kodiak. We're going to go kill that. Unless this guy happens to be running straight for it. There's a ghoul. It's red. That's the thing about the server being so packed is like you see something in the distance like this bear and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go kill that bear. And then it takes me so long to get to that bear that odds are somebody will grab it before you get there. But it looks like, looks like we're gonna do all right here. Although my pet is probably really far behind. So, let's go find... Oh, here he is. He's not too far behind. Cool. So, let's get our dots up on him. Alright, no big deal. He is a white, so he's probably gonna kick the crap out of my pet. Pretty good, he is. So, we can toss on a fear. I think it's pretty safe here. We'll have to see. Those snakes aren't safe. There's so many snakes that uh, they just chain freaking aggro. Oh, my clinging darkness wore off. Did it? Let's get another one. Uh, well, he was already dead. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. That was a waste of mana. Got another bear over here. What is that? It's just a black bear. It's a light blue. And there we go. We got the level. We're level 10 now. Let's see. Yep, here it is. It says here you have gained a level 10. Um, your items will no longer stay with you. Um, you have to return your corpse for your items. I'm assuming it's not telling me, but I'm gonna lose XP now too, right? I think classically it's like level five, but I haven't been losing XP, so I'm thinking that's gonna start happening now too. Um, either we'll find out, or maybe somebody can confirm or deny that. But I'm assuming that's gonna be right now. So it'd be nice to kill uh, some giant spiders and some bears and stuff. The orcs in South Row don't drop belts. I swear on P99 they drop belts. Whether they're supposed to or not. That's a whole, you know, another story, but... We're gonna go kill that Kodiak over there. Let's just take a look at, see if anybody left anything on this guy. All right, let's go kill one of these. There's a bunch of stuff over here, nice. This one's only a blue. There's always a camp here. It'd be nice to get up in that camp, get some belts there. Doesn't seem to be touching the pet. I need to give my pet a weapon, actually. We'll do that. This one's a blue, so it's a fair bit easier. Although it is chunking the pet a little bit. We're not going to waste the mana on fear. Fear is quite a bit of mana right now. But the pet regens pretty quickly. 
So by the time I'm running around, as long as I have mana, by the time I'm running around looking for something to kill, the pet will regen. Yeah. So we got another one coming in. Alright, we'll give him a second to get here. Let's give my pet a weapon. We have a worn great staff. I like the old two-handers on the early pets. He's got quite the underbite there. The skeleton, I mean. So, I mean, I could take this one and probably fear him. I don't want to fear him. Okay, where are we? Yeah, I don't want to fear him over there. Those guys will kill me. So maybe, maybe I'll give him a second, let him walk past a little bit. Well, we're on the bear highway. What do we got here? This one's a blue as well, and that's just a black bear. Well, we'll just try it out. We'll just go in. I'm gonna let this one walk by first. I'm gonna get this one, okay. All right, we're gonna deal with this. Maybe I should have feared the other one. We'll let that guy go on his own. We should be all right here. The pet's gonna get pretty low, but it's fine. Pet did a lot better, I think, with the weapon. We took the bear down pretty quickly. So he's coming back now. At least he's worth XP, so it's not a complete waste, right? All right. See if we can get lucky with like a nice bear pelt on one of these. Oh, we did! We got a high quality bear skin. Hell yeah. I didn't even notice. What do we got running away from us? It's, a young, it's that young Kodiak. Let's go get him. So I gotta go back to the VODs of like uh, my other, my P99 characters. Cause I'm like, I'm really stuck on those South Row orcs dropping belts. So I gotta go look. I'm like... 99% sure that they do on that server. I just kind of want to know. There's a lot of differences. There's a lot of little differences here and there. And, you know, with emulation servers, um, I know P99 has some stuff wrong. And there's just differences. It is what it is. But it's good to know them. Quite a bit of junk out here. Um... So we'll let some stuff pat by. It's just kind of met up. A few more seconds here. Nothing's behind me. Okay. You got this one coming in. That's a yellow. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let them kind of pass each other before I engage. I missed the tick. Shit. Oh, this bear's going down pretty quick, so I'm not going to fear. Feeling really powerful, actually. Feel really good. On the Necro now that I got my level 8 spells. Looking forward to my level 12 spells, because I'm going to feel even more powerful. I'll be able to bind myself, finally, at level 12. If I could afford it. I just now bought gate. I was just now able to afford gate. But I didn't have it because I couldn't afford it for a while there. Oh, that one's a yellow. I don't even want to. I mean, I could just fear it. 
and it should be fine. I would like to have more mana in my pet at full before I would take on a yellow, though. So let's see, we got Synergy, 6891. Jesus, dude, you didn't realize yourself... You didn't notice yourself standing up after sitting almost every time. No, I, I didn't notice myself doing that. I think this was... I mean, the comments knew, but I think it, um, it was from a couple episodes ago. But uh, when I sit down... So for whatever reason, take it for what it is. Whenever I sit down, I hit, I just, I made it like this tendency to hit back just to make sure I'm sitting down. That's just what I did. It's in my muscle memory. I do it on P99. You know, I was playing a fat ogre a lot and what I do is I'll be can, I'll be cannibalizing. So I'm sitting, standing, canny dancing and stuff like that. Before I was doing like the power canny, I was canny dancing and so I would sit down and I don't know, sometimes you're in close spaces and you just don't, you can't visually see, like you can obviously see I'm sitting up and standing down, whatever. I didn't see it on this other, whenever this episode was that this comment came from. So what I, what I ended up doing to ensure that I'm sitting down is that I would hit back. Because if you hold back and you move, then you know you're not sitting. Because if you're sitting, you can't move. Well, at least that was the case on like P99. On this server, if you're stand, if you're sitting and you hit back, you just stand up. Um, it's not like that on the other server. Anyway, so my, you know, sit check, uh, muscle memory thing that I do, my little habit, doesn't apply to this server, right? So this comment was on my very first day on this server. My bad, dude. Like, <laughs> okay, I learned the hard way. My bad. But, uh, yeah, I know now that when you push back, you stand up, and yes, I see it. I have eyes, it's fine. The camera moves when standing up. Yeah, I know. Maybe I expect too much because I've been playing EQ for years. Maybe. Cool story, dude. Like, flexing on, flexing on us, playing EQ. It's funny. Cool. What do we got here? A red. This is a legit Kodiak. We don't want to mess with that. Someone's taking down that yellow. We're doing good. We got 100, 100. Let's find some stuff to kill. We'll see if there's any other comments we want to bring up. That's bad. That's got to be bad. I don't know. Maybe it's not. What do we got over here? Do we just... No. We don't want to kill greens. Do we kill the light blues, though? Here's a white. We'll take that. We'll kill the cat. Why not? We're full on everything, so now's a good time. And then we're going to fear him. Like, just for sure. Why not? But you can see there, two dots and a fear brings me down to half mana. So it's a little brutal. Alright, I'm just gonna keep an eye on him. In between my server ticks for my mana, just so I know where they're going. You know what I didn't think about when I memed and made a human? Is not having like hide or sneak. That's kind of useful, actually. There we go, we got him running. So this is the life. We do want to get into a group. Um, like I said, we'll check out Befallen in a bit. See if we can get into a group there, but we'll get a little buffer here. I do think if I die, I do lose XP. I I believe that's the case, so. I actually died twice in Befallen. I, I mentioned getting trained earlier. I actually got trained immediately again after that. I I went back in, got my uh, got my shit together, got my pet out. And then I ended up getting trained again. But, you know, then I ended up just camping for the day. It was already late anyways. 
We'll kill all skeletons we see. I mean, this one's light blue, so we'll get some sort of XP from it, but uh, just to get bone chips and everything. So another thing is, um, you know, I've often times said I wish, you know, I could get in like legit, like full screen window mode where my mouse is free, free to move in and out of the screen. Can't really get that going, but just like the other versions, uh, Control Alt R will free up your mouse so that you can exit this, exit the uh, the screen there. And then you can just go back in. I I also have a bind for Alt R. That does something. That pops up that window. So there's that. So we got a zombie over here on the right. Zombies are so easy. I kind of want to kill the zombie. But I also want to kill the bear. I want to kill the zombie first, though. They're so weak. Let's pull it over here. And then we'll go after that bear after that. This one's not dying as fast. That other one melted. What do we got over here? We got a Kodiak on the left. That's a white. This one's actually kicking the crap out of my pet. What the hell? What? We'll reapply clinging. What the hell? You could take some damage right at 100% life. If she could even hit me. <laughs> Dang. Was I recording yet when I killed that zombie earlier? I might not have hit the record button yet. I killed a zombie earlier and they died in like five seconds and they were also a light blue. And it was in the zone. It was like right before I... I think it was right before I started recording. We'll give my pet a second to med up there. Mike Parsons, 1746, says that zone out at 29 minutes from episode 4 with zero health was epic. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. What is this? This is a light blue. That's fine. We'll get in here and help. And, as normal, they started doing yard work outside. It's every day. I, I talk about this all the time. It's every single day. It's like all the houses on my like immediate radius have like an agreement <laughs> that we take turns every single day instead of doing it all in one day so we could have six days of silence. I kid. Anyways, uh, yeah, so that zone out was, it was pretty cool. It was pretty epic. Um, if you didn't see it, I was running in South Row, and I was running from an orc who was beating the crap out of me from behind. And then right when I, right when I got to the zone line, uh, he knocked me down, so I was like knocked unconscious or whatever, right? But then since I was moving, like my inertia, it knocked me to the ground and I was sliding. And it happened like a centimeter before the zone line. So I hit the Inethal Swamp zone line. And so I don't know if I'm dead or not. Like, I know I got knocked down, but you can get knocked down, you know, and then you recover and you stand back up. So I didn't know where I was, like... And then so I zone, and I was like, oh, I, I'm alive. I, I didn't zone back to my bind spot. I zoned into Inethal Swamp. So I was like, oh, cool, I'm alive. And then I looked at my health, and I had 100% health. And so I was a little bit confused. I was like, I have 100% health. Why do I have 100% health? But I'm in Inethal Swamp. And then I looked around and I was like, where am I? I was in the middle of Inethul Swamp. I wasn't at the zone line. And then I looked in my chat and it said I died. So I I died. I got, I got killed by the orc while zoning. And then it put me in the middle of the zone, which seemed kind of dangerous. But I mean, it's only Inethul Swamp. And then uh, I guess it killed me. So I wonder what would happen if I was above level 10 and you lose your body. Would I still have my, I wonder if in that case, would I still have my body? Or would my body be at the zone line and I'd be naked in the middle of Inethul Swamp? 
You know, uh, this could potentially be bad. Like if this ha if this exact um, if this exact situation happened to you, and it's not in a little swamp that you're zoning into, you're zoning into a higher a higher level zone, and then it like dumps your naked body in the middle of the zone or something. I don't know. It was interesting. It was diff it was different, but it worked out in my favor because I didn't have to run back to South Row. I just ran to the uh, Inethel Swamp zone line and I was ready to go. All right. Speaking of ready to go. Dude, apparently I could just sit here and and farm bone chips or something. All right. All right, let's, let's get some killing going. Young Kodiak, it's a white. All right. We got one coming, though. So we're going to fear this guy and hope for the best. Don't go that way, huh? It's not much better. Yeah, should be okay. Hopefully, just keep going this way, dude. Walk you right over here. Yeah, that was good for a white. He went down pretty quick. That was really good. You know what I was thinking is when you first get your spells, so I got spells at level 8, so I felt really strong at level 8, and then I was level 9, and I was feeling really strong at level 9, still, and then you get level 10, and then you're going to start to feel your strength kind of like dissipate a little bit, and then you're going to get level 11, and you're probably going to feel kind of weak maybe, if you're killing whites, or a yellow perhaps, or even dark blues at level 11 when you're, you know, you got your spells 3 spells ago, your pets now probably a lower level in the mob you're killing, so on and so forth. I was thinking that, like, that's the time you want to get into a group, right? <laughs> when you're, like, just before your spell levels. And you're trying, and you're starting to feel a little bit, a little bit weak. Maybe that's when you jump into a, you jump into a group. And get a little help. But when you're fresh off your spells, you go out and you, uh, and you solo a bit, like a beast. All right, what are these bears doing? They're walking in tandem. Are we gonna get them split, or what's going on here? That's another thing. We're looking forward to getting uh, Fain Death one day. <laughs> Still got a bit to go. Come on, boys. When are you gonna stop? Or anybody gonna change directions or anything? Let's see. Skeleton here we can kill, I guess. Hope y'all have been having fun on Quorum. I've been having fun. This, the server's very stable at this point. I haven't been having any issues. The server hasn't really gone down, like, unannounced or anything like that. Um, since week one, really. All right, these guys stopped, but I think the front one stopped later than the back one. So let's see, I think we can pull this back one, which this is another white. So let's see, let's pull him back a bit. I don't want to fear him, and he goes straight into the, uh, the druid ring there. The other bears are coming. Okay, perfect, perfect, I think. I don't know what's that direction, actually. I haven't really looked in a second here. A hill? What's on the other side of the hill? We'll put, um, we'll put one more clinging on him. Just to try to get him to run a little bit faster. It was gonna fall off and we don't want my pet to get too, too low. Then we're just sitting around waiting. I should be, I should be betting. There we go. These thick grizzly bear skins, now, I mean, they're not really 
you I mean you could use them for stuff but they're not really useful to people they're not gonna buy them but they sell I think it was like six gold or something they sell for like six gold I mean so it's something it's not nothing all right let's continue our killing spree what else we got we're up to 10% XP though um, feels good I'm not gonna say it's fast or anything because we've been kind of just chilling and killing but it's definitely chill. We're just sitting around, killing some mobs, having a good old time. Easy going. This cat's a blue. Good times out in the EC tunnels, or not in the EC tunnels. East and West common lands, if you would. A lot of people like to hang around here. Um, not only are the good, you know, orc camps and stuff, but they like to hang out to get a sow or get thorns or something from a druid out front of the tunnel. All right, let's see. It's a regular bear. We got a cat and a young Kodiak over here. I'm loving killing these young Kodiaks. These are nice. So we'll kill another one here. And it doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, we got one. That's a real deal Kodiak. Let's avoid that guy, shall we? Okay. So I'm gonna pull this guy a little bit this way. I'll pull him towards this way. Ooh, a Centurion. I wish I saw that. I wanna kill that. We're risking it. Or <laughs> uh, what happened? He's afraid. Okay. We're gonna catch that Kodiak. I know it. They're on a collision course. Well, we're doing okay. Oh, he's right there. Shit. Here. Try to pull him back over here. All right, we did it. Follow him a little bit. Where's that? Uh, where's that orc? Sit down for my monotic. Did I miss it? I don't know. I'm still like, I'm still getting used to the camera. A lot of people have got used to the camera already. I'm still a little janky with it. I usually play in like third person. So the orc is still there. He's a blue. I'm just gonna take him before anybody else does. He could have a belt on him so I want to kill him. So I'm just gonna take him now. Shouldn't have to fear him. He's gonna go down pretty quickly here. These little undead camps, uh, I was looking at the one outside of the EC tunnel. Um, it's really good for necromancers and clerics and stuff with the undead nukes. Just load them up and take them down. That's what I was doing in uh, Befallen, killing undead naturally with my undead nuke. It's really powerful for um, not that much mana. All right. Hopefully we can come up with a belt here. Let's see. See if we're lucky. Nope. All right, so we'll med up. Let the pet med up a little bit. Stephen Burnett, 1770, uh, says he installed Duxa UI, and now the game won't run. Um, so I know that this issue has been already resolved, um, but I thought this would be a good time to mention that uh, the game, if you open up the options. The game under, um, let's see, load UI skin here, it pops up a window. I may call it a drop down, but it pops up a window. I may, it may also depend on your um, UI, but it pops up a window here that has different UIs that are just built in, built into the client already. So you can see ducks of UI is here and they have a couple other ones and then you could just load them up and check them out. 
you don't have to um, like previously on P99 or some other servers go get the UI and then drag and drop it into your your uh, folder. We got a young Kodiak. He's all white. All right, let's get going. We're gonna need to fear him, and we're gonna need to avoid that bear. That bear's already moving, so that's good. Let's go ahead and get the fear on him. All right. There's a zombie there. Let's get sitting. Start medding. I'm gonna get a new, a uh, new spell in the in the like the clinging darkness spell line. A new snare. It's gonna be slower at 12. It's gonna be nice because this one's not that great of a slow. Looking forward to that, so we can kind of shrink the area of which I'm fearing. So we get less ads, less potential ads. There's also a pet heal. I just need to be able to afford afford the the heal. We got another cat here. I guess we can take on this white cat. Um, anything else coming in? We got it's the real deal Kodiak. Let's just get out of the way for a second. What do we got over here? There's so much stuff. Oh, it's another Kodiak. Wow. Three Kodiaks. They're trying to kill us. They're trying. Suddenly, I don't want to be here. Sorry about the janky camera. Um, why is there so many Kodiaks? What the hell? Okay, maybe I can. I mean, this guy's gonna keep going. Maybe I could pull this cat over here. They don't social, right? A bear and a cat. They don't give a shit. If anything, they'll fight, right? Let's get that pet in there. He is a white, so he's probably gonna beat the crap out of my pet. So let's get him feared and hope for the best. All right, we got a monotic. So I'm gonna walk a little bit, try to keep up with these guys. Just stay in range, just in case. I gotta cast more spells or anything like that, which I'm probably going to have to. Yep, clinging darkness fell off. So let's reapply that. I'm probably gonna fear again, actually. Still has a lot of life. My pet is uh, getting his ass beat. So we'll do another fear. Did. Oh, okay. I didn't land my poison dot. I think I fizzled and didn't realize it or something. Um, so let's get it on him now. I don't want to fear again. I'm just going to hope that we can get him to 20 and he runs real quick. Yeah. Alright, that was my bad. I didn't realize what was happening. What do we have over there? Pawn. that tick in um so bp ninja asks if they're going to improve the pop king process because it sucks and um you know secrets has made a number of improvements and like kind of like fixing bottlenecks and stuff it's kind of been said that uh that the dev team wants to fix the bottlenecking of certain things. Like, there's no reason for people just to stand around doing nothing for hours. Um, but when it comes to regular quests and going around doing things and actually, like, playing the game and experiencing the game, they don't want to mess with that too much. So I guess it's going to be a case-to-case -case basis. Um, but I kind of feel like they will do some, some stuff with the king. Um... Like they might do something with Vicians. Um, I was thinking, I was thinking um, the shards in Lucelin. All the different shards, the various shard places. I'm wondering if they'll do something with that. I'm thinking they will. I'm thinking they'll, they're on a, a select few of these, they'll, they'll, you know, kind of tweak them to, uh, to. Is he splitting it? 
they'll tweak them to, to try to help out. But another thing is we have a lot of time. If each expansion has nine months, that's pretty good. Um, last time I raided in Looseland was on a TLP. And I think they were... That's a good question. Shoot, what were they? Were they four month, four month expansions or three months or something like that? And it was, there was a little more pressure there than if you have nine months. Nine months is pretty good. Um, but that doesn't mean that there's not like room for improvement or something like that. What do we got here? A Kodiak. Yeah, kill him. Take him out. It's another big boy. It's another Kodiak over there and here too. Is, yeah. Wow, this is nothing but Kodiaks. Somebody needs to take these out, let's go. Hey man, like if you're in the range, I don't know what level these are. Probably 15 or something, right? Uh, but uh, this might be a good spot. Get some bear pelts or something if you're around that level. There seems to be a lot of them, not too many people killing them. People are like me are killing the uh, the lower level ones. What I think I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to go around and kill some stuff and then we'll go check in in Befallen. See if there's some sort of group or something we can do in there. Um, and then uh, and then we'll just continue from there. So we'll see in a bit. So this orc camp is actually open. This is the one closer to uh, the, the end of the zone here. Um, I killed a couple. I'm kind of just metting right now. Killed a couple, I did get a belt off of one of them. Somebody came by, asked me if I was camping them. I said no, like, you know, if a group comes here, they can have it. There's only a couple that I can single pull out of here anyways. Um, let's hope. Uh, you know, I keep getting lucky with the directions these run, I feel. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be lucky all the time. But the orcs are blue to me, and they have a chance to drop a belt, which is going to give me like 5.5%. Um, so if I could just camp these two for even just a little while, this is worth it. See, I was loving the bears earlier, but now I don't want to fight that bear. I want to be prepared for the next orc to spawn. Because these belts are just too good. So there's one more orc that'll spawn here that I could single. So if I could take just a second here. To get just a little bit more mana. One of the orcs gave me a hard time. Um and he resisted my dot, so I redotted. He resisted again, so I redotted. And then he resisted my fear as well, so I kind of dumped my mana on that on that mob. But there should be one spawning here any second now. Now, currently I can't split these two. Let's, let's, uh, let's con them all anyways and see. These are all blues. That one's a green, really. That's an apprentice. I guess there's a chance I can... I can take that. Also, a dervish was coming by. Okay, so this, this is the guy who asked... Oh, yeah, it's right here. This guy asked me a small problem. Asked me if I was camping him. I said no. It looks like he's at the dervish camp. They're inviting 11+. plus. Now, a dervish walked by. I think it was a lower one. Because it was an even con to me, and I killed it. Uh, so that was cool. Um, here's the other tent. There's one, the single that spawns there. That's the one I just killed. Maybe I was already recording by the time. I think I was. Whoops. That's just a black bear. Okay. Oh, he got tossed. Oh, he's loaded. He's loaded. All right, man. Well, okay. So I'm figuring out the, sp the spawn times here. Um, 
it should be spawning any time now. But now that now I know where I where I lay with uh with where, where my mana is, so I could probably afford to kill a young Kodiak or something in between these, so I could do both orcs plus like a bear or something. It seems like I just didn't want to be unprepared when he spawns and then someone come through and snag him because I'm not really like I can't claim this whole camp. I mean. Somebody comes through and starts killing stuff. I can't blame them. I mean, what are you gonna do? And not, nor would I want to claim the camp, obviously, right? All right, so here he is. He's a white. Okay. It's good for XP. Hopefully, he doesn't resist, though. That's all I hope. Fizzle too much. Big waste of mana. Alright. Got the tick in there. It's so nice being able to see the, the dots. Yeah, so clinging darkness fell off, so we'll put it back on. And we're good to go. Let the pet tank a little bit. Hopefully we'll get lucky and get a belt here. That is the idea. So what do we have here? We have a regular Kodiak. Jesus. No thank you. Well, the pet's having issues now. Holy crap. It is a white. Maybe I should have sexy ports? They're dead. Maybe I should have... Uh, added another dot because now my pets kind of beat up a little bit. Then again, in the amount of time it's going to take him to finish this mob off, he might just regen to full. Look at that. We got ourselves another belt. This is huge. So we are at 23% into our level. Uh, we've been at it for about an hour. So it's not that great. But with the turn in of the two belts I have, that's another 10% plus 10, 11%. Um, that's how powerful these orcs, these orcs really are. So when do I kill the Kodiak? I think it's in between this orc and that orc. So I kill this orc. Then I can kill something, like a young Kodiak or something, and then I kill the second orc. I think that's where the bigger gap is. I think between that orc and this orc is a smaller gap. So we'll just met up here for a second. Alright, so we got him back. Some Somebody's coming in to, uh, to clean house, though, it seems. This one is a white. Let's go ahead and clear him. We got Project Faceless here. Uh-oh. Not good. I mean, obviously this one's not an issue, but these other two could be an issue. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, go get him. No. Yeah, steal him. <laughs> and by steal him, I mean help me. Back my pet off. dot on him. My pet's gonna get low. He's gonna get, uh... Oh, shit. Get in there. Ow. So that dude is... He's probably just gonna, um... Probably just gonna clear it, clear it, clear him out and, and keep going on about his way. Just see if he can get any belts or something, probably. Um... So if I play my cards right, maybe I can get, I can, you know, keep it split now. So he just did me a favor, so that was nice. But I do need a med, my pet needs to med, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll just keep at it. A little bit low on mana here, not low, but not full. But we're going to take him. Oh, what the hell?
I don't know, is he trying to aggro that on me or what? I don't know what he's doing. Probably didn't need to fear there actually. Could have saved the mana. I need the mana. So uh, it's been going pretty good. We've been holding down four spawns and leaving two. And honestly, I think the saving grace is when I do get an apprentice spawn. Every once in a while, I'd say like every like two rounds or so. Okay. Every about two rounds or so. Um, we'll get an apprentice spawn, which I could just, I just put like my cheapest thing, clinging darkness on him, and then I throw the pet on him. And they handle business. Um, <clears throat> but what we've been doing is taking the single guy on the right, the single guy in the front, and then this two camp is has still been split. It looks like that bard took one of these guys because there's only one there now. But uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. So we've just been doing four spawns and loading up on some belts. Let's take a look at our belt count here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight belts, nine belts. There's one in their inventory, which is pretty good. I mean, you can get like a plat each for them. That makes me want to ball out and, and have and buy my spells. But at the same time, I want to level. <laughs> so, you know, that's why I am keeping some things that I know sell like these bear pelts and there are thick grizzly skins that I said, you know, sell for a little bit. And these. I still got some room. I can get rid of these swords for future belts because these swords, I think, are only worth silver. All right. But we are getting to a point. Um, where we may have to go to town because we are way overweight. We're running out of room. I'm destroying stuff to replace it with belts, which is fine for now. But at some point, it's not going to be. That guy got tossed. That was a really easy... That was like one of the easiest fights I've had. Mostly they've been blue. Nice. Uh, mostly they've been blue, but occasionally I am getting a white con. Uh, where are those swords at? Let's get rid of another sword. I mean, they're only worth silver. I just like to keep them just in case I have like a bad period where I lose my pet like three times in a row because it does happen occasionally. Oh, someone's gonna kill him. That pet is red. So we got an apprentice. So this is the occasional apprentice that we get. That's gonna hit me. It's no problem. But I just put the uh, put the clinging darkness, throw the pet on there, and we're good. So, cool, I guess, maybe, I don't know. What is this guy? Party, Porta boy Porta body Okay. So we're, f we're max on everything right now, so we're feeling pretty good. This doesn't happen often. Uh, selling belts, two plot each, anything I can loot. What? Anything I can loot? What? Selling belts two plat each? Dang, I mean... He wants to buy them for two plat each? Is that what's happening? 
Or he's coming here to offer me bells. I don't know. I mean, that, that doesn't make sense, right? This guy seems like a strong boy. I'm gonna fear him. I mean, two plat each. I gotta take that if that's the case. I'm not really... Or uh, if he's asking... I was wondering if you were selling any. I mean... Damn. I mean, obviously I want to level, and I don't have that much time to play. But I gotta... I mean, at two plat each, I gotta let him... I gotta let him go, and then I guess I... Oh my god. I mean, that's 20 plat, and then I just stay here longer and get more, right? That's the play. Where's this dude at? Is this clinging again? Jesus Christ. I'm overweight, and I have no defense, and I'm already a clothy, so I'm just gonna get freaking pounded, but... That's fine. That was... Is this guy, like, on top of me, or, like... Where is this dude? Oh, okay. What's up? That's eight. And where is he? Uh, there we go. Sweet. I mean. Cool. Well, that's the most plot I've had on this server so far, so I'm happy with that. I can go buy spells now, and I'm ready to buy some spells for when I reach level 12. Um, I gave away a lot of experience. 10 belts is like half a level. Uh, so it is what it is. But um, I think it's, you know, I think it's worth it for now, and we'll, we'll get more belts. So cool. Uh, so this is, it's already, we're already at an hour. Um, but I, I'm going to sit here as long as I can until probably somebody comes and takes the camp from me or some group or something. Uh, so I'm going to sit here and do this. Um, and then I'll maybe turn some belts in at the end uh, when I got it. But uh, I guess that, I guess we'll just call it there. So we will see you in the next episode. Actually, I just got jacked. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck is this? Bruh.
All right, so we stuck it out. I actually did die. Um, a red Kodiak bear spawned on top of me while I was killing one, and he got me. Uh, but I made it back, and I was able to split the camp myself, which was feeling pretty good. I almost wiped again doing it, but I got it. Uh, we got ourselves another 10 belts, so we're going to go ahead and turn them in. So our XP's looking like 82%. Each one of these should be about 5%. That was only 3%. Maybe it's because we got a level. Let's try another one. 3%. So at this level, maybe they're 3%. But it's giving me money. So the first one gave 10 gold. Second one gave 2 gold. So that one gave 4%. So it's slightly more than 3%. It's like 3.3%. We got four gold, three gold, six. This one's gonna ding us. We got another six gold there, nice. And we're two percent in, let's see what this does. Still three percent. This is gonna, that was seven gold, nice. So that was down to two percent. That's ten gold though. So we're doing, we're, do, we're getting good RNG. Good RNG, back up to three, and I'm gonna assume this is gonna give me two. No, it gave me three again. All right, so we're, we're below 3%, but we're at probably like 2.7% per turn in at this level. Um, probably, I mean, it, I, don't, I don't regret selling them, so now we have some platinum to work with. I'm gonna go sell off all this crap. Uh, you know, coin up at the bank. Hopefully my I didn't destroy my faction too much with North Freeport, uh, since we killed a bunch of orcs, you know. So hopefully we just combated it right there. Anyways, this time for reals, we will see you in the next episode.